Hey everyone, this is David Pike with Motor City Mechanic. Uh, today I want to show you step by step how to remove the front grille on a 2007 all the way up to 2014 Jeep Wrangler. Uh, show you step by step what you need to do to take it off and what you need to do to put it back on. So with that, you go ahead and get comfortable while I get my hands dirty. So in order to get the grill off, what we got to do, we've got to remove a total of six plastic fasteners. Uh, we got one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, they're simple pull-up style. Uh, just get you a little tool like this. It's got a little pointed edge on it. That's what I use. It gets up under, there, pops it up. I try not to use uh, side cutters that have a tendency to want to break them. So uh, all I do is I work on getting these up. Like I said, we've got a total of six. And usually what happens, sometimes they'll come out in one piece or they'll come out separate. You'll get the center piece out and then have to worry about getting the rest of it out. So that's what they look like. So we'll go along top edge here. And that's how we're gonna work on getting this grill off the front. Now the reason why we gotta get the grill off the front is we've got some bolts for the AC condenser where they mount to the radiator. And that's why we're going to be removing the front grill to get to that. So we'll go ahead and jump to the front and you can watch me take the grill off. So now we got the fasteners across the top off. Now the rest of the grill just snaps in, uh, almost like basic trim inside of a car just snaps on. Now we do still got our turn signals that are hooked up to it. Now we will have to disconnect those. So what we do is we'll start grabbing from the top and start working our way loose, start unsnapping it. Just grab it along the side and slowly work it and there we go we got completely loosened and now we'll just work on getting the connectors off now what I like to do is I just go ahead and just twist it and get the bulbs out of it uh, I'm not too worried about the connectors because then I can fight with those otherwise I just twist it and get the bulbs out I'm good to go now we can go ahead and gently neatly put our grill off to the side and then we get a little more access to the AC condenser and to the bolts that hold it to the radiator. So now what we're gonna probably do is go ahead and move on to getting the plastic upper radiator shroud off. And that's held in with approximately four plastic Christmas trees. So we'll go ahead and start doing that. At this point, it's time to go ahead and put the grill back on. You guys sitting in place. We're gonna go ahead and hook up the, or reinstall the lights and their little perspective sockets up in here and rotate them and lock them in place. All right, so now there are snaps that hold it along the bottom, as you can see here, the shiny things. We need to line them up with the little rectangle holes. There's also a guide pin right here lining up, and that'll kind of keep everything centered. We'll kind of line it back up, get it about where it's supposed to be. And what you want to do is get a couple firm pops, kind of just go on down the line, snap everything in place. Now, of course, all we got to do now is install the total of six plastic push pin fasteners and then your radiator grill will be back in place alright so you had a moment to go ahead and finish watching that video so hopefully you realize there's nothing really difficult in removing that front grill on that Wrangler uh, you know about the six fasteners across the top and how it snaps in along the lower edge as well as the two turn signal housing so um, basically now that you know how simple it is you'll know what to look for and what not to uh, overthink the process because it is fairly simple so that way if you need to take it off to gain access to anything behind it or if you're for some reason wanting to replace it possibly aftermarket grill, have it painted, whatever. Uh, now you know how to take the grill off. So uh, hopefully you realize it's fairly simple. So I always appreciate you guys watching these videos. It means a lot to me. Um, I love to see any kind of thumbs up, thumbs down. You can be honest. I'm a big boy. I can take it. Um, if you got any suggestions for uh, possible videos, that'd be great as well. Uh, maybe it'll ring a bell to me when I've got a vehicle in the shop that, hey, I know somebody's requested this type of video. Maybe I need to jump on it. Also, uh, any questions, if you got any uh, automotive questions related to a Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, or Ram, 
go ahead and feel free to ask. I'll try to do my best to answer them for you in a timely manner. So with that, make sure you subscribe because when you subscribe, it notifies you every time one of these videos comes out and you may see something that you may want to learn about or maybe you own or just general knowledge that you want to gain from it. So definitely subscribe. Also, uh, we're on Facebook as well. Uh, check out the main page. It has a link there as well. You can click on the Facebook icon and it'll direct you straight over there so you can get notified as well. Uh, any kind of important news coming up, any kind of comments or whatever I've got going out there, you'll get notified. So guys, Gals, thanks for watching my videos. Always stay tuned for more.